Christian Prince why you do bother how Muslim women cover themselves how the mother of your God cover how the nun cover why don't you hate preachers drink the deadly poison mention in the Bible hmm hey, my friend first of all uh, covering uh, of the head does not make a woman decent and in the old tradition people they cover not because they are proving themselves to be decent but because life is different the road is full of dust life is not easy and women they cover themselves to keep themselves protected from the element of the nature I have nothing to do with being decent however the Bible actually speak about prostitutes who cover themselves with burqa women who they have a shame or did shame they wear burqa because they don't want people to know how they look like so we are not talking about somebody covering her hair we are talking about a religion making you cover your face which making you a shameful person a shameful human being and you are ashamed of your face and making you believe that women showing her face she is a whore the fact the whore is the one who see a woman only as a whore if she show her face because if women showing her face will make her a target for men that's mean your mother she should not show her face to her you you your, her son because obviously you people don't think about women except in sexual way secondly if we go and see why Muslim women they cover themselves we will find that nowhere in the Quran it says to you you cover yourself cover your head the Quran is speaking about women they have to wear long dresses and they have to cover their breast and obviously the story was behind it or what was behind it that Umar al-Khattab he used to spy at the ass of the wife of the Prophet and he make fun of her and he asked Muhammad many time to cover his wives to order his wives to cover to cover that he is the one who is harassing the wives of Muhammad who would no shame he did not dare to say to uh, Umar al-Khattab shame on you to do that to my wives Imagine the wife of the Prophet and she go in the street out at night. They have no bathroom at that time, you know. Those are people of the desert. She go to do poo poo. And then a guy who is a very close friend to her husband, he chase her and he say to her when she is doing poo poo, out of Nakiya Soda, we know you, Soda, which means we know your ass. So your God did not really care for women covering themselves. It was Umar al-Khattab who harassed the wives of Muhammad looking at their bum when they are doing poo-poo and he is the one who made that verse happen. And if we go, we will find Umar, he confirmed, and you're a prophet confirmed, and you Muslim confirmed that the one who came with the with the, with the covering of the... Of, uh, a clothes of women it's not Allah it was Umar al-Khattab the hadith says that your prophet is not a prophet the real prophet is Umar al-Khattab Umar said I agreed in with my Allah in three things or said my Lord agreed with me in three things I said oh Allah apostle would that you take the station of Abraham as a place of a prayer Omar he said that Allah he make a verse Omar he said that to who to Muhammad I also said oh Allah apostle good and bad a persons visit you with that you order the mother of the believers to cover themselves with veils and then the divine came says okay cover them with veil and then Omar continues saying I came to know the Prophet had blamed some of his wives, so entered upon them. And I said to him, you know, I, he, which means he said to the wives, stop doing this to your husband, otherwise your husband, Allah, he might replace you, etc. And look, it says here that Allah, he sent the verses exactly as I said. So who is the one who make the, the, the verses of covering? It was Jamal al-Khattab. Actually, there's a hadith says that if there is a prophet to be after me, it's going to be 
Omar ibn al-Khattab and the one is saying that is Muhammad obviously Muhammad is copying Omar this is not from your God and your God don't care for women covering themselves or not because if your God he cover, you know he care for decency he will not allow Muslim muta, women to do muta he will not come with a rule that any Muslim women and any Muslim man they can have sex for three days three night and if they like to enjoy more they can that they can extend so here we go you are saying to me you are you know you people you cover your women but in the same time your women they can do muta which is nothing but a prostitution where women she rent her vagina for whoever he pay and if you go in the elevator and you see a Muslim decent woman who cover her hair you offer her some money and based on the agreement if she agree to have sex with you for 15 minutes that is very lawful and this is supposedly a very decent religion the decency of Islam did not stop here it went farther beyond where we see that Muhammad he ordered Muslim women after he ordered them to cover themselves yet he ordered them to give their breast to anyone who enter upon them so we have a society where it's forbidden for a man to shake hand with the woman you see how decent this society is but yet we can suck their breast i mean isn't it this is amazing hmm? i cannot i cannot shake hands with muslim women but i can suck her breast and her nipples let us see some hadith about that so the muslim they will not say we are making things up you know them if we don't show reference they will say where where you get this is where you get this from hmm? where you get this from let us see <clears throat> and not only that even Aisha she ordered her uh, sister and her nephew and her, her nieces to give their breast to anyone who want to enter upon her um, first of all let us confirm that this is something was a Quran this is not even a hadith so you will say it's a fabricated by the Jews those are verses was exist in the Quran and sadly a goat ate the verses as you see the verses of stoning and breastfeeding an adult ten times was revealed and the paper was with me under my pillow when the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. And the time sheep, I, I hate your time, she tame sheep, came and ate it. So as you see, my friend, you are coming from a very conservative religion where women, she been ordered to give their boobs to a man. This is Islam, my friend. When a woman, her name is Sahla bintu Sahail, she came to Muhammad complaining that her husband, he don't like the adult man who entered upon her. Muhammad, he said to her, suckle him. The woman, she said, how I'm going to suckle him and he is a growing man. So if you are a Muslim and you think you are coming from a conservative religion, my friend, your religion have nothing to do with conservative, not even close. Everything you say to us is a fiction. 